Hi, and welcome back to Let's Win Dungeon Endless Break the Beta. Um, <clears throat> a new version is out. It's a You have to enable betas in Steam to play it. It is the test version of the beta, version number 0.9.2, and it is much harder. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with our regular team just to give you an idea of comparison, how things go. Uh, operators, I feel, are even more important. Although it's significantly more difficult to level up heroes at the beginning because it costs a lot more food. Um, there's a couple other neat features. For one, you'll notice there's kind of high res pictures here. Um, I feel like the monsters are a little beefier. Let's see. You get a bonus for opening multiple doors at once. See the time two right there. It's a score bonus. So your mileage may vary. I am of course rushing the professor to operate. No, we're not just rolling these guys like we normally would. All right, but hey, you know, a little extra score, why not? Besides, it's, it's a cool new feature. Also, speaking of cool features, tactical map, what? That's right. I don't know specifically what all the colors mean, <clears throat> but I do like this ability to see the red door. Um, can help you identify those last couple doors when you're like, wait, I thought that was the last one. And you're like, oh, I saved one. Where is it? Um... But yeah, you'll notice leveling up is 25 food at the beginning. And you'll notice that you can't power everything often. Get my times two on. Got a merchant and some industry. Gonna use the industry to kickstart my industry. 36 food to hit level 2, or 3 that is, to level up the second time. Also, merchants come in different flavors. Here is a science merchant. I can trade him science for guns. And I can sell things for science. Um, items will always be sold for whatever the merchant gives. Uh, he'll only give you science, even if you paid food for it. And it comes in food, science, and industry at least. I haven't seen a dust merchant since I <clears throat> got in here. But, you never know. I assume there are still dust merchants. Um, this, of course, pawning stuff was actually a really great way to make some extra dust. So, not being able to do that is significantly harder. Now, because he's a science merchant, I'm going to want to build um, sciencey stuff. And I can power all my rooms. I don't have to give up rooms to buy things from him. Like, I could pay 12 science and take this pea shooter right now. <clears throat> However, also the prices are higher, of course, dust being significantly scarcer resource, kind of. Uh, yeah, so all in all, I find it interesting. It definitely changes how the game works. Monsters are, as you can tell, tougher. And while they may drop more dust, uh, your ability to get dust from them is... reduced, shall we say. And your ability to get overwhelmed is uh, increased. We're going to move up here to prevent monsters from spawning in that room. Uh, an artifact, which competes for my valuable dust. Science creator. I'm going to wait to level up the science creator. Am I now?
I don't know. Fights go on longer, are more deadly, you have to use more things. Let's go with cheap and effective, as I am going to have to use science to purchase things. Alright, we finally hit operator level. Uh, but... But... I really want to save up... I really want to operate science. As I'm gonna need a bunch of that. We're gonna switch him over to science. After turn in industry. After we build one more major module. Now operating is even more costly because you have more unpowered rooms, which you could be using heroes to prevent mobs from spawning in. Major module 35, so one more turn. Only one mob incoming. You should be able to take it. Yeah, definitely a harder game. Note how little dust I have. This is level one. Do you see this? I've got like a million unpowered rooms. Found an item. I'm actually going to stay for that. T-shirt. Ah, shop. Not as important as a claymore. <laughs> Which I will get next turn no matter what. Well, I say that. Oh lord, this is so brutal. We'll take the item, we'll hope it's a gun. We didn't even have the industry to pay for that last turn. Kitchen gloves, fine. Looks like he can handle it. We can finally power up something. We actually need it to be this, so that we can build weapons here to intercept this huge chain of enemies. Like, you really have to tower defense now. You, you don't have a choice. Twelve, 
This is probably the last research we're gonna get. Three doors left. We gotta max out that science. We gotta save up industry for the next level. And of course we have to save food up for the run for it we're gonna have to make. <clears throat> so, yeah. Game is a little intense these days. Oh, you cannot fight the hero hunters alone. At least maybe you can take one alone. Maybe. They are brutal. Alright, I'm gonna have to level up. Oh, there's still beasties out here. Alright, this is just getting out of hand. No. No, I'm gonna save my science. We'll only build if we have to. Of course, getting our crystal disc exit is going to be next to impossible. We will be getting two researches. I think. And I have to decide whether items are more important. How much do we need for all this junk? 45, 57. I could get all the items in exchange for all my science. And let's face it, items might be better than the research here. Or I can get research. Tear gas, science creator. I really want the tear gas or the science creator. All right, so wait, let's, let's look at the actual. If I get the science creator, I will have I'm gonna get one more turn, so I'll have 60, 70 science. That leaves me with 24 science, or if I get the tear gas, I'll have 45. 24 or 45 to spare if I do a research. And it would be good to do a research. Alright. I could just afford the Fuzi. Spare mag, not so useful. Uh, the Fuuzi, no one can use. Spare mag's okay. Um, if I just get the pea shooter, then I can get the science upgrade. And you really need these basic resource. Now remember, if I carry these down to the next level, I can trade them for other goods. Okay, the pea shooter... Definitely want. And let's look at... Oh, so there's only one more door. I'm gonna take the tear gas. As you know how much I love it. 
Now you have an important reason to stock up for on food, because you might run into a food merchant. Last door. Holy crap. That's no good. Yeah, we're not going to make it. We're going to use that so we can run. Hopefully without healing. Oh, oh. Finger on the trigger. We're gonna try and spin nothing. Overclocking, watching the health, watching the health. Whew. All right. Tactical map, look at that. Beautiful. So green is powered, blue is unpowered. Can I control click that? No. So if you left click, you can go anywhere. It's super awesome. It's a feature I actually asked for on the forum today, accidentally. <laughs> Are there any items that I want to carry over that he has? Do I want to sell my kitchen gloves for science? For the most part, no. The spare mag might be okay. Twenty one science. I don't know. I mean, it reduces his. W also, you'll note that the level up preview is kind of broken. However, spare mag. You know what? We're going to go ahead and get it. Because the DPS on the professor is not bad. Now, the crystal phase has changed significantly. Your rooms don't depower as you pass them. Oh, check this out. Boom, triple power. Very nice, right? So you can build defensive fortifications and they will keep working the whole time. But if you have heroes that aren't in this when you get in with the crystal of this room you'll have the option to exit and it'll tell you how many of your heroes are in the room any you leave behind die so since max is faster and the professor has good dps We're gonna use the Professor as an escort. Yep.
Yeah, so level one, not nearly as easy as it has been. Notice, crystal lift. Heroes ready, two of two. Let's go to the next level. So you can hold off, you can fight the hordes for as long as you want, your rooms won't depower. <clears throat> you can't change the power setup of your rooms once you pick up the crystal, but hey. Oh, I was like, did the game freeze? No, I paused it. All right, that was level one. Um, I will see you on the next floor. Thanks for watching.